Hi, thanks for checking out my warning about holiday clubs. And if you're going on holiday to a European destination this summer, then you'll be glad you did, because I'm not kidding you. Watching this video could save you from throwing thousands of euro down the drain. Before I start, please understand that although I've lost nearly a grand to a holiday club, this is not just sour grapes because I was tricked. This same warning is being given out by the Office of Fair Trading and the European Consumer Centre. Check out what it says here on one of their flyers. The truth is, holiday clubs rip people off. You will lose money. I won't tell you the name of the company involved, but let's just say that the initials could stand for very wicked people. Actually, the company name doesn't really matter because there are hundreds of companies out there using exactly the same tactics. So this is a reconstruction of what basically happened to me and my wife, but this experience is not unique. What I portray here is what happened and what still happens to hundreds of holiday makers every year when they should be enjoying their break. So there we were, walking along the beach at Palma Nova in Mallorca, having just enjoyed a nice bathe in the sun for an hour or so. We were just having a nice stroll. Little did we know that we were being watched. We'd been targeted by the holiday club towns. So they turned up and asked if we'd mind answering a few simple questions as part of a tourist questionnaire. Well, we weren't in a rush, so we thought, yeah, why not? As a token of their appreciation, they gave us two free scratch cards as a thank you. Would you believe it? My wife's scratch card had won the star prize. Either a thousand euros, a luxury holiday, or Dixon's vouchers for our flat screen TV. The female tout went crazy. Oh wow, you've just won the star prize. You're so lucky. This has never happened to me. No one has ever won the star prize before. Oh, and if you've won the thousand euro, make sure you come back and buy me a drink, okay? Well, no, it's not okay, you lying bint, because there's no way that I've won the thousand euro. There is no one thousand euro. There's no flat screen TV. There is only the free holiday, the star prize that everybody wins. But I didn't know that then, of course, did I? So we were sucked in. If only we'd remembered the age-old advice. There is no such thing as a free lunch. So anyway, the text told us that to claim our prize we had to attend a presentation about a new way to book our holidays. It would only take 80 minutes of our time, and they would even pay for the taxi there and back. Did we have 80 minutes to spare in exchange for one of those great prizes? Of course we did. I mean, who wouldn't, right? I didn't realise that in their world, 80 minutes equals nearly 5 hours. But anyway. So, they bundled us into a taxi and off we went to Parma like lambs to the slaughter. The taxi was free, but the driver only gets paid on arrival, so he's not going to let you out early, is he, just in case you change your mind? And if you did, you'd be stranded. On the way there, I was thinking to myself, stay alert, this might be a scam. After all, the tout did seem extremely interested in what type of credit card I was using on the island. I wondered if maybe this was some sort of elaborate credit card theft. But when I got to the place, it looked legitimate enough, quite posh, a modern office with pictures of holidays on the walls. In fact, it's just like a real travel agent. While I was waiting to begin the presentation, the staff asked to check my credit card, with some ridiculous story that we might win an additional prize if the last four numbers matched. Of course, now I know this is just a trick so they can confirm you've got a card that they can take money off. But anyway, we sat down and listened to the five-hour, 80-minute presentation where we were bored to tears and just accepted everything they were telling us because we'd become so brain dead. Every ten minutes or so, some guy would announce that Mr. and Mrs. So-and-so had just joined the scheme. But that was just a bit of theatrics because there was no other person in the showroom, just their staff. But it did give the impression that lots of people were joining and there was nothing to worry about. We chatted with the manager of the company for a while and let me tell you, this guy could teach Darren Brown a thing or two about mind control. Seriously, this guy could sell snow to Eskimos. What he basically said was that today we could become members of an elite holiday club which gives us access to extremely discounted holidays and flights in five-star accommodation for life. We were shown a really impressive website where we could book the holidays. Of course, you can't check these prices out at home because it's members only and you need a password. What we were shown looked really impressive. It looked like we could book five-star accommodation and luxury cruises for about the price of a normal three-star holiday. He told me that if I became a member, not only would I have my free holiday that I won today, but a two-week luxury cruise. It all sounded really impressive, so I agreed to pay nearly £1,000 in deposit to secure this great offer. It wasn't until after I handed over the cash that he told me that I had to also pay an upfront fee of 8450 
That really freaked me out. I'd understood that I was meant to be paying the company a monthly membership fee, not paying eight and a half grand up front. But by this time, they'd already got my deposit, which I didn't want to lose, so eventually I signed the contract, but strongly wished I didn't almost a second after I'd written my name. Sometimes you really have to listen to the voices that are screaming in your head when they say, don't do it. So, what did I get for my eight grand? I got this nice piece of paper. Seriously, I'm not making this up. This is what they gave me, in great big letters. What have I done? The question on everybody's lips when they leave us. No kidding, that's the truest thing they said to me all day. I just can't get over that. And I love the Microsoft Publisher 98 clip art. Really classy, guys. That night was the worst of my life. I didn't sleep a wink because I knew I'd been conned that I had agreed to pay over eight grand to a company that could just vanish overnight. I returned to their offices at the end of my holiday demanding a refund, but the legal woman refused, basically saying, tough luck, you should have thought of that before you signed the contract. I might as well have been Faust trying to ask the devil if I could please cancel the contract I signed with him. My tour rep at the hotel knew about holiday club scams and told me that under Spanish law I had 14 days to cancel, but they said that that law didn't apply to them. Sorry, but that's false. When I got home I rang UK lawyers who specialise in holiday complaints and they said that by law they have to accept my cancellation. So I sent a letter of cancellation by recorded post shortly after I returned home. Then there was weeks of arguing back and forth until eventually they agreed to cancel my contract. But they did keep my deposit. So I'm nearly a grand out of pocket. I could have lost eight grand, or nearly twelve grand if I'd taken out a loan to pay them up front. I didn't even get my free holiday, but it could have been worse. The internet's full of accounts of people who've lost a fortune to these sort of people. For the sake of balance, let me just say that not all holiday clubs are evil. In theory, they're a really good idea, but beware of ones that abduct you from the street with lies about winning a holiday. Beware the ones that brainwash you for hours so that you can't think straight. And in particular, if you want to join one, make sure you can take the paperwork home and think about it. And make sure you're allowed to cancel within 14 days if you change your mind. I hope this warning's been helpful. If it has, please leave me a comment on the YouTube page. If you've been tricked by a holy club, maybe you want to leave a video response and tell me about your story. Whatever you do, please pass this warning along to your friends and relatives. It's not just on holidays where this can happen. Even in the UK, people have been known to ring up your house or enter you for a free raffle at car boot sales and then tell you you've won a holiday. Don't fall for it. It doesn't matter how they contact you. If you're invited to one of these presentations, use extreme caution. Thank you.